there, everyone. It's uh, Mr. Rops. And Mrs. Flynn. And we are here to solve the intersection where functions meet functions. All right. And I'm just going to make up two random functions ah. because I'm just going to be clever like that. I'm going to make one meet x squared plus 7. And I'm typing it into the calculator. And the other one's going to be negative 7x minus 3. All right. So if I write these two over here, I have... On that first. So we have the equation y equals x squared plus 7 and y equals negative 7x minus 3. So let's solve these algebraically first. Right. But if we're going to have them intersect, what's that mean? That means um, where they have the same x and y values. Right, so they're meeting there, the same x and y values. So they're both equal to y, so those y values have to be the same. Okay, so if the y values are the same, and if we kind of look at our equations, if we lay them like this, if these y values are the same, can I just rewrite it as x squared plus 7 equals 7x negative, sorry, negative 7x minus 3? You certainly can. And let's bring it all to the one side of the equation now. So plus 7x here, plus 7x here. Now I have x squared plus 7x plus 7 equals minus 3. Add the 3. I can do this one. That's easy. x squared plus 7x plus 10. Equals 0. Equals 0. And we know how to solve this. Right. First thing you always want to look for is can I factor? And this one looks pretty. It does. It's not convenient. I just made up those equations out the spur of a moment. They work out magically. You're such a liar. <laughs> Plus 5. And plus, plus two. 2. They multiply to get 10, add to get 7x. Okay, so that means x plus 5 equals 0 using our null property, and x plus 2 can equal 0. So x can be? Minus 5. Or? Negative 2. But that's not quite our solution. Because right, what, what does that actually mean to us, those things? That, that tells me where on my x-axis those are going to meet, so maybe negative 5 here and negative 2, but it doesn't tell me where on the y. So to find that, we know what the x values are. Let's plug it in to our y. Let's plug it in for x and find our y. Does it matter which equation we use? It should be the same. Okay, so let's try, I'll try this one. y equals, and I'm going to do this first solution here. Okay. Negative 5. y equals negative 5 squared plus 7. 25 plus 7. Which is? 32. 32. And I just want to double check and just show you guys that it, if I chose this one, it wouldn't matter. This would give us a positive 35 minus 3, which also gives you 32. So again, doesn't matter which one, but our solution for this is negative 5, 32. How about, we have, do we have to try the other one too, or is one good enough? No, we always need the other one. All right. So for x equal to negative 2. We plug it in. Let's put it into the, the linear one because okay, it's one's easier. Negative 7 times negative 2 minus 3. 14 minus 3. And that one is? 11. All right. So we now need to think about this because negative 5, 32 is way up here. All right. All right, and 2, negative 2, 11 is going to be way down here. So we need to make sure that our window at least goes up to 32 so we can see that for Okay, so let's go over to our calculator then, and I'll change our window. We already know our x values are okay because minus 10 to 10, but it's the y values we have to consider more carefully. I'm not so concerned about the negative values, so let's just go negative 1, and let's go up to 40, and let's use four there. Then we're going to graph it. And if it looks here, let me do that. And so now if we come over here, we can look at our these values. And so it's saying this one's probably negative two, and this one's negative five. So we, we can find the exact intersection points using our graphing calculator. Oh, cool. So let me do the key history. I'll pull that up, and you can follow along with what we're doing. So I'm going to go second, Calculate, which is under trace. And I'm looking for the intersection. So number 5 is intersect. The 
question asks for the first curve, which is the parabola, x squared plus 7. Enter. Asking for the second curve, which is the line, negative 7x minus 3. Enter. Now it wants me to guess. Well, we already have our points, so let's guess with one of our points, negative 2. Negative 2 sounds like a good one. Yay. And indeed, I get 11. Okay, now what about our next one? Well, if I go through that same process, number 5, first curve, second curve. Now the guessing part, I, if I guess near negative 2, it'll give me the same value. I have to guess up near the answer, so negative 5, and I get 32, 32. indeed. Nice. We did Good. it right. Hooray!